what's in a name? Following Cadillac's new and sure to be confusing rebranding effort, their top selling SRX becomes the XT5. Like many other recent GM redesigns, their luxurious compact SUV went on a diet. It now weighs over 200 pounds less than the last SRX we tested, despite having more equipment. Reduced weight should help fuel economy, which was never an SRX strong point. Same goes for the new 8-speed automatic, mated to the latest version of GM's 3.6-liter, 310-horsepower V6. The engine can shut off cylinders or shut off completely when stopped to further save fuel. You can even shut off the all-wheel drive system to eke out a bit more mileage. While the 3.6-liter V6 pulls smoothly, we're spoiled by the more muscular low-end grunt of rival turbocharged engines like the Lincoln MKX's EcoBoost V6. The XT5 feels very steady and planted on the highway, and there's little body lean in the corners. It also rides well, partly thanks to the adjustable suspension that comes with the 20-inch wheels, and little noise reaches the cabin. This is a top-of-the-line XT5 Platinum, and it's positively decadent inside. There's lots of leather, wood, and chrome, and the headliner is covered in synthetic suede. It definitely looks good inside, and it's also easier to see out. But the windshield pillars, they still remain pretty thick. The rear roof pillars are positively blocky, and the rear window is quite small, so rear vision is not that great. Some help is provided by the innovative rear camera mirror that comes on the top premium trim line. It certainly broadens the field of view, but the image is less precise than that of a mirror. There's other high-tech pros and cons to the X-T5. The Q infotainment system is getting better, but we prefer a volume knob over the touch-sensitive volume control. And unfortunately, Cadillac has jumped on the overcomplicated shifter bandwagon. This one is a little bit better than most, with an odd side push into reverse and a push button for park, but it's really no improvement over a normal lever. Don't get us wrong, not all technology is bad. There's lots of available high-tech safety gear, including Ford collision warning with automatic braking and pedestrian avoidance, a handy heads-up display, and a surround view camera system. This top-level XT5 Platinum all-wheel drive stickered for $63,845. A more typical XT5 will cost around $53,000 with navigation, 20-inch wheels, and Ford collision warning with low-speed automatic braking. There's lots of competition here. The Lexus RX has more room and comes with an impeccable reliability reputation. And the latest Lincoln MKX is very, very nice, providing strong competition for the XT5. The Cadillac's crossover SUV now feels refined and substantial, newly honed for battle, no matter what you call it. For more on luxury SUVs, check out consumerreports.org.